Hi kids, Teacher Jonathan here, and we are going to get ready to get our bodies on a move. That's right, but we're also going to do a little bit of math and some counting. So, we got to get our bodies ready, and we got to get our minds ready. That's right. So here we go. We're going to start off with the body because it just feels good. We're going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You ready? Here we go. Let's wiggle, 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 now we've got to get our thinking cap on, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to reach up into the air slowly. I want you to reach up really high. That's right, reach up as high as you can. Reach up so high. That's right, grab that thinking cap, and I want you to pull it onto your head. You ready? Oh, I'm thinking now. There we go. Feeling good. Thinking. Got our wiggles out, got our thinking cap on. We are ready to go. So here we go. Ready? Yeah. Go. Here we are under the water, feeling good. That's right. And look over here, we got some starfish coming in. Look at that, starfish. You know, starfish make me think of star jumps. That's right. They're also called jumping jacks. Also called jumping jacks. All right. So let's do some star jumps together. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right. So back to these starfish that's showing up. Look. Starfish are here. We got six of them. Six starfish. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six starfish. Now let me ask you something. What would happen if three of those starfish swam away? They don't really swim, but you know, you know. There we go. How many do we have left? One. Two, three. We have three. So our equation would be six minus three equals three. So we have three star jumps that we need to do. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. So here we go. We've got our three starfish left. So if we have three starfish and three come back, and then two more friends show up. How many do we have at the starfish party? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight starfish. Oh my goodness, eight starfish. There we go, that means we owe eight Star jumps. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's get out of here so I can get some air. My goodness, been holding my breath this whole time. Ready? Here we go. And up. Oh, all right, above the water, finally. And look, oh, got some water skiers here. You know, when you water ski, you can't water ski straight up like this, uh, shatter your knees and every vertebra in your body. So you're gonna wanna bend your knees. So we're gonna do some squats, like we're getting ready to go out there, and like we're holding the line, you ready? So there we go, we're gonna do five, ready? We're gonna go one, two, three, four, Five. There we go. Five squats. Now let's say one water skier decides we're gonna go grab some lunch. Okay. Just drive right over me. It's fine. It's fine. So how many water skiers do we have left? Ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. We have four water skiers left. So we've got four squats to do. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four squats. Nice. 
nicely done. So, you guys, take a lap. Come on back around. We're gonna do some more. By all means, just drive right over me. You guys could have gone around. I could move. It's just rude. Well, welcome back. Okay. So we've got our four water skiers ready to go. But let's say, let's just say, two more water skiers show up ready to go. How many water skiers do we have now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. So our equation right here would now look like five minus one plus two equals six. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do our six squats. You ready? We're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, get out of here. Oh, jeez. Let's get out of here. Here we are at an orange grove. And let me tell you something, to get the best oranges, the best oranges, you gotta reach up to the top. I want you to reach with one hand. Reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up. Grab that orange. And I reach up with the other hand. Grab that orange. There we go. So we're going to be reaching. That's right. Get some stretching in. All right. So here we go. You ready? So here we go. We've got some oranges here. Let's say we've got seven oranges that rolled, rolled on in. There we go. Seven. Now, if three of those oranges roll away. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four left. So we owe four reaches. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to go up. That's one, and two, and three, and four. There we go. Now let's say, we leave those four, but now two oranges roll on back. How many do we have now? There's a hint there, do you see it? The answer is six. So ready, we're gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, Six. There we go. All right, so here's what our equation looks like. We had seven oranges minus three oranges plus two oranges equals six oranges. All right, looks like we owe some reaches, six of them coming up. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Shoot up. Excellent. Not bad, guys. Six oranges. They all roll away. Thank you very much. We are on to the next one. Here we go. Really plain. You know, you can do this on my garden deck. Anyways, right at the garden, there's a plane flying. Something else that flies are ladybugs are very cool with some spots. I do like ladybugs. You know what? Ladybugs love to crawl. If you put a ladybug on, you get to crawl up your arm. You're crawl up your arm. That's right. It'll crawl up your arm. It'll crawl up your arm. That's what it'll do. It'll come up and say hi. So that'll be our movement. Crawling up. This will be one. And this will be two. Can you do that? One, and two, and three, and four. There we go. All right. So here we have four ladybugs. 
Now, if another ladybug shows up, how many ladybugs do we have? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five ladybugs. So that means we got five crawly arms to do. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's tickly. That's a tickly game. That's a silly tickly game, that is. All right, so we have our five ladybugs here. Now, what would happen if three of those ladybugs decided to leave? How many ladybugs would we have left over? Let's count them. Ready? One, two. Two ladybugs. So can you think of what our equation would look like? Here, let's take a look. So our equation would be four ladybugs plus one ladybug minus three ladybugs equals two ladybugs. That's right, so we owe two crawly arms. Ready, here we go. One, Two! It's a tickling time. It's ridiculous. All right. Oh, that was neat. So let's head back home. This isn't my home. This is what's, what's, we're at the bees' home. It's a bee farm. Where are we? Oh, oh, I guess we can count some bees. All right. So if we have one, whoa, that's a big bee. We got one big bee. And, and two smaller bees, and, and two more bees, and three more bees. How many bees do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? We have eight bees? Well, why are you guys, you're not mad about the waggle comment, Art. Yep. Why are you all waggling? Why are you all? No! <laughs>